Hello and welcome to another two minute automation by Cognitos. I encourage you to click the subscribe button down below to stay up to date on future two minute automation videos. This video will cover one of the most common scenarios in business. A business user receives documents via email, in this case, invoices. The business person opens the email, reads the attachments, extracts the relevant information, perhaps the document number or customer ID or even a dollar amount, and then manually types the information into a CRM or customer relationship management platform. Now imagine having to do this same task hundreds of times a day. In this two minute automation, a business user will automate this entire task with Cognitos. Cognitos allows the business user to write the automation using plain English. First, we will build a new automation to process an invoice. Notice we haven't told Cognitos anything about this automation other than the fact it's going to process an invoice. Now let's publish this automation and share it with our colleague Ziv. Ziv will help us teach Cognitos how our company processes these invoices by sharing an example. Here we see Ziv reply to the email with an invoice. Now let's peek behind the curtain to see that Cognitos has received the attachment. The business user now tells Cognitos that the attachment is a scanned document. This applies AI to the image to extract the relevant information necessary. Next, the business user is going to tell Cognitos that the attachment is an invoice, which applies further AI to maximize the fidelity of the data extracted. Finally, the business user tells Cognitos to add this data as a claim to Salesforce. Let's look at the code we've written. No, not JavaScript or Python, but English phrases any business person can immediately understand. Now in any other automation platform, missing or unexpected information causes the entire system to throw a fault or an exception. This ungraceful crash almost always causes a moment of stress. Cognitos, on the other hand, not only understands English to build the automation, it also understands the value of a conversation when something goes wrong. Here we see that Cognitos has been told to add the invoice as a claim to Salesforce all of which Cognitos understands. However, Cognitos hasn't been configured or instructed on how to connect to Salesforce. Here we see Cognitos asking the business user for Salesforce credentials that could be used once or always. Once again, let's peek behind the curtain to take a look at the actual information that was extracted from the attachment. Here we see the claim ID is 0194 and we will use that identifier to validate the information was ex extracted successfully and then inserted into Salesforce correctly. Voila, and there we go. Thanks for watching this Cognitos two minute automation. Feel free to click the subscribe button below to stay in the loop on all things Cognitos. Take care.